mabuhay. Usa ka tingog, usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa NTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Board member Tining Martinez, ugupat ka makani opisyal sa syudad sa Bugo, naukman nga sadaan sa sandigang bayan. Mayor Junard Ahong Chan, muhangyo sa konsiho nga kasamtangang suspensuho na ang Corfeo Ordinance. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyusang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Board member Tining Martinez, ugupat ka mga kanhi opisyal sa syudad sa Bugo, na hukman nga guilty sa sandigang bayan tungod sa wa paggamit og tarong sa pundo sa panudlanan diha sa maong syudad. Unom nga dito sa napu katuig ang pagkapriso ang atubangon ni board member Celestine no Tining Martinez o glaing upat pa tungod sa giingong pagbulsa sa 20 milyon pesos nga pundo alang sa mga mag-ooma. Kinihuman nga nakonvicto sa sadigang bayan sila si Martinez o mga kanyang opisyal sa Bugo base sa gipagawas nga desisyon ni Adtong Pebrero 28. Gipasanginlan ang kanyang mayor sa Bugo nga si Martinez sa pag-divert sa 20 milyon pesos nga gamitun unta aron matabangan ang mga mag-ooma o pang marginalized sector na sa Iran nga maong pundo nagagikan sa buhatan sa Department of Agriculture niya itong 2007 apan nakita nga wahi noon nakaabot ang maong tabang nga sa mga mag-ooma. Gawas ni Martinez na matod ang nakalapas sa Anti-Graph and Corrupt Practices Act silang Crescencio Pilauil Verdida Red Minges Merilo Orsal Julio Orsonal Jr. Bisan pa man o nahukman nga guilty sa anti-graph court, wahi noon kini panumbalinga ni Martinez, ilabi na nga ni Dagan kini pagkakongresista sa ikaupat na distrito sa probinsya sa Sugbo. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas, ang gakbayan sa Sugbo, adunay 31 kabagong kaso kagahapong adlawa. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health, Mandawi 21, Lapu-Lapu 11, Lalawigan sa Sugbo 24, Buhol, Siam, Sikihor, way bagong kaso kagahapon, Negros Oriental 1, sa kinatibukan, muabot sa 102 ka mga kaso sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas kagahapong adlawa. Lapu-lapu si Mayor Junard Ahong Chan mupada og suwat ngadto sa konsiho kini aron paghangyo kanila nga kasamtangang suspensuho na ang papatuman sa Corfeo Ordinance ang kasayuran ni Hatud ni Patch Anthony Inso Bupadalaw sa wat sila palapo sa Temir, Junard Ahong Chan, ganda sa konsero sa syudad, aron sa paghangyo kanila sa pagpalabang ang ordinansa, ganda temporaryong mususpenso sa implementasyon sa core few, kinimagitugan sa mayor sa tinguha nga maharmonize nini ang mga palisiya nga gipatuman sa ubang lokal nga kagamhanan din sa Sugbo. Nasairan nga ang syudad sa Sugbo, Mandawi o ang probinsya sa Sugbo, una na nga nilibka sa ilang core few. Apan sa man ni Chan nga gumikan kay ordinansa man ang core few sa syudad, hinungdag nga gikinahan ang lad nga mo palabang ang konseho og lain ordinansa aron mo suspenso sa implementasyon dini atong temporarily uh, atong i suspend ang ato ang curfew so that mahatagan ato og kagayunan nga mapahatagan og uh, negosyo panginabuhi an ma-extend ang mga nang negosyo hangtod sa uh, uniform na to same with Mandawi and Cebu City 
Ginoon pa dayon ra nga ipatuman sa mayor ang curfew alang sa mga minor de edad. Samtang gihangop ni Chan ang desisyon sa Interagency Task Force kung ATF nga ipabilin sa COVID-19 Alert Level 2 ang estado sa syudad hangtod sa Marso 15. Kinibisan pa man o nagtinguha ang mayor nga ipaubos na sa Alert Level 1 ang syudad subay sa paday na sa mga pagubos sa ilang mga kaso sa COVID-19. Level 2 tatarun. Uh, makita man ato but uh, mura na mag nabalik lagi sa normal ang uh, ato makaiksunan ang uh, ato lang uh, uh, pasalamat uh, sa atong mga kaiksunan sa mga ginikanan nga bisanong sila sa atong panawagan sa pagbakuna o pabakuna sa ilang mga anak watch Anthony in so CC Tianus Gisaulog karon lukop nasod ang Revis Awareness Month o habig usab sa Department of Veterinary Medicines and Fisheries na doon na sila'y mga kalihukan nga giandam subay usab sa maong selebrasyon. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Mary Teresa Doripa ang ato ang STC Mascom Intern. Mato ni Dr. Jessica Maribohok, Pangulo sa DVMF, na sila vaccination program para sa Rabies Awareness Month. Nasugod sila sa mga high-risk barangays. Pasabot ni Ine, katong mga number of cases sa rabies positive sa miaging tuig, maoy giuna nila. Gasugod sila sa barangay Lahug, hantud kini sa Along Biernes. Sa sunod si Mana, adto sila sa barangay Labangon o barangay Apas ng Siyudad. So before ta actually kaning barangay lahok is silhig na lang ni but pasabot is kay naagi an naman ni last year bag ulang mga quarter uh, of the year sa so 2021 silhig but pasabot is limpyo na lang so kung kinsa tong mga bata pa wala na butog 3 months or katong wala na bakunahan agi an ato is ato tong bakunahan balik so kung Dili pa gani ta mahuman until March uh, March 4 mubalik gyapon mi kay dili man na mo biyaan ang usa ka high risk barangay kung dili na mahuman tanan sitio. Atud sab ni Dr. Mary Bohok, human sa Rabies Awareness Month, duna sad sila yung Rabies Awareness Week nga mahitabo sa katapusang bahin sa buwan sa Marso. Subay ni ini, duna sila ipahigayon nga iring day na mahitabo Marso 28 hantod sa 29. Ki promote karon sa DVMF ang responsableng amo o garon mabuhat kini, kinahanglan nila pabakunahan ang ila ang mga binuhing iring ung iro gawas ni ini ni tanyag sila og ligate og kapon sa unang adlaw sa pagpahigayon ni ing usa ka gatos ka iring ang ilang iakomodar ug laing usa ka gatos ka iring sa pet sa 29 sa Marso 30 iro day sa bang ilang himuon sama sa iring day muhimo gyapon sila og pagpamakuna ingon man ligate giklaro ni Dr. Maribohok na libre ang mga serbisyo nga ilang itanyag subay na sa maong kalihukan Okay, once manggod ang babae, mga anak, di ba, labi na mga manager, mga tagiya na di na sila ganahan ipanglabay. So, mo na yung way na to sa humane na pagkontrol na libreng live date sa iro. So, kana na time is libre na itong i-offer, then at the same time is libre ang bakuna. So, maso tayo tayo uno sa plano nila nga i-showcase ang services sa DVMF diha sa Plaza Sugbo at ubangan nga bahin sa Cebu City Hall. Sama sa vaccination sa iro, libreng deworming, panghatawag vitamins, o posibleng sagmutanyag sila og libreng consultation ingon man sa neuter mobile vehicles, ligate o kapon. Kini aprubahan sa syudad. Mary Theresa Dorifa, STC Mascom Intern. Why na itabong pagdahili sa yuta sa barangay Manipis, dakbayan sa Talisay, bisan paman sa tibok adlaw nga pag-uwan kagapong adlaw. Matod pa nga gisira ang maong karsada samtang padayon ang pag-uwan sa kabalaka nga dunaw sa imudahili nga yuta sama sa mga nanglabay nga mga pag-uwan. Hinoon bisan sa tibok adlaw nga pag-uwan, why natala nga paglihok sa yuta o mga bato nga gikan sa ibabaw nga sagad mo ali sa karsada o piligro alang sa mga motorista. Sa sitio lang yun, mo ay pirming nga maglihok ang yuta, matag-uwan, gani gibalik naman ang pagtrabaho sa benching ini, aron kalikayan ang pagtabon sa karsada sa yuta o mga bato. Duha ka mga babae nagpatuo ng mga kawani sa social security system dito sa Dakbayan sa Dumaguete, Negros Oriental, na dakpan pinasikad sa warrant of arrest, human gikiha sa duha ka mga senior citizens ng mga SSS pensioners tungod sa pagkuha sa kwarta ng ilang gilun sa SSS. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. 
Sikop sa mga sakop sa criminal investigation and detection group Dumaguete City Field Unit ang duha ka mga babae nga nagpatuong nga mga empleyado sa social security system kun SSS sa mong lugar human sila gikiha sa duha ka mga senior citizens matud ni Police Colonel Erneo Dalugdog HP sa CIDG Regional Field Unit 7 nga ang mga dinakpan gila nga sila nga Maria Joy Lumugdang og ima ako panda hingkod ang pagidaron nga mulo pyo sa mong sudan ang budos sa duha magpaila sila nga trabahante sa buhatan sa SSS og ilang target ang mga senior citizens disen nga pensioners nga mo-apply og loan o ilang pasaligan nga sila na aga mo proseso niini kung maaprubahan na ang loan sila aga bugunit sa ATM cards nga gihatag sa SSS nga alang sa mga pensioners og sila na usab ang mo-withdraw niini sa bangko og dili na mubalik lalapitan nila i-approach na mag-process ng loan para mapabilis sila na mag-process and then pagka ma-process na yung loan nila uh, magbibigay yung SSS ng ATM so dapat ang maghawak na noon yung mismong pensioner. Ang ginagawa nila, uh, sila lang muna ang maghawak kasi sila na lang ang mag-withdraw kasi matanda na yung ano. Bibigyan, iiwan na nila ng uh, certain amount para mapanatag naman yung uh, pensioner. Pagkatapos doon, sila na mag-withdraw, hindi na sila pa. Wala na butog ang si Dalugdog kung pila ang nakuha sa duha ka mga suspitsado apan labing siguro nga daghan na kinig na biktima sa syudad sa Dumaguete o garon lang kinig na nagpan human di pasakan o kasong kalapasan sa Article 177 sa Revised Penal Code, Istafa, Usurpation of Authority o kalapasan usam sa Access Device Regulation Act of 1998. Tungon ni Mi Auhag karon ang kapulisan sa publiko labi na sa mga SSS sa pensioners na kung nga mo-apply o loan kinahanglan nga dili isalig ni Bisan Kinsa sa litkwarta kinig nga alang unta sa pagpalit sila mga Tambal. So, ang uh, mensahe natin doon sa publiko na dapat uh, hindi tayo basta-basta maniwala doon sa mga tao na hindi natin kakilala, lalo na uh, uh, sila ay nagpapanggap na sila ay mga employee. At uh, ang pinaka-easy ano kasi nila dito para makonvince yung biktima ay sasabihin nilang mapabilis at mapadali yung uh, loan application nila ang pag-release ng pera. So pag uh, makarinig yung tao noon, lalo na yung mga pensioner, na yun na lang inaasahan nila, yung uh, kita nila doon sa SSS, agad-agad namang uh, naniniwala. Yung klaro hinon ni Dalugdog na walay kunsabo sa sulod sa buhatan sa SSS, ang duha ka mga suspitsado, sanglit magdala manusap sila ng mga authorization letter na magmatuod, nga doon ay pagtugot sa mga biktima ang ilang pagproseso sa papeles ni ini. Arnold Bustamante, CCTV News. Maukad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong Sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa manukad live sa CCTA in Chapel. Naghang salamat.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. In this Mass, as we bring for God our intentions and prayers, today, Thursday, after Ash Wednesday, let us include to pray for those who ask us to pray for them. And in a special manner, we include to pray and continue to pray for peace. Continue to pray for the victims of harassment, victims of calamities, victims of injustice, war in some parts of the world, not just Ukraine, not just Russia, but in other parts of the globe. There is much hatred around us. Let us ask that grace from the Lord, the grace of peace, the grace of reconciliation, the grace of harmony and love. For the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays and anniversaries this month, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration, for the needs of all those who trustly support the postulate of CCTN, to prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. But let us acknowledge our sense to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. <clears throat> Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, Lord. Further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and from, by you be brought to completion. Draw our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, 
Today, I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes and decrees, you will live and grow numerous and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If however you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the, on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on, the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly, be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading from the book of Deuteronomy tells us straight about a reminder of the sense of God. Choose life or death. It's a rhetorical question. Of course, you choose life. But how to have life? Worship the Lord. Worship God. What gives life is the, the sense of God. And it makes sense. Because when one loses the sense of God, the next thing is he or she imposes his or her will. When one loses the sense of God, he or she claims absolute ownership. I own this. I possess this. Because there's no longer that sense of God. Sense of God is so important. Otherwise, the other extreme is so destructive. The sense of God. When you have that sense of God, you are moving a little far from yourself. Or, put it this way, not much of just the self. That's why Christ said in the Gospel, the Son of Man will suffer greatly, die. If you want to follow me, then deny oneself. They go together, sense of God, and moving away from the self. And that's how to get to heaven. That's how to be saved. This is the, the concrete way of putting what is said in the Old Testament about worshiping God and have life, deny oneself, and live and be saved. Sense of God. Always have that sense of God. Always remind oneself that there is a God. So that we don't impose our will on others. We don't impose our force on others. So that we don't impose absolute ownership of things and people. Sense of God is important. That's why one psychologist put it uh, beautifully. It says, or he says, you want to keep your sanity all throughout your life? Keep your sanity all throughout your life? Just remember two things. There is a God. There is a God. And you are not God. You want peace, harmony, love? Remember there is God. As we enter this Lenten season, this is yet the Thursday after Ash Wednesday. Remind oneself, we are have all this because we believe in God. If we truly believe in God, act like you truly believe in a God. We go to Mass, we pray the Rosary at night, we have no matter prayers, right? Because we say we believe in God. Then show it that you are a person who truly believes in a God who loves you. Birds of the faithful. Our Lord Jesus calls us to follow him, to carry the cross after him, and to trust him, all those who suffer. And we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as members of the church, we may imbibe our lives the spirit of the cross and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ and the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our country may hear the cries of the suffering people and may show commitment 
to the eradication of oppression and exploitation in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering, the poor, the sick, the handicapped, and prisoners may never fall into despair, but experience the comfort of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are alone in life may find companions who are willing to help them bear their crosses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be one with God and their loved ones in heaven for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Incline your mercy for ear to our prayers we ask. Lord, listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. and our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. Regard with favor, o Lord, we pray the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. The duty no salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed servant fame worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. You're indeed holy, O Lord, upon all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sinning on your spirit of them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the challenge once more, giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church sped to all the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who served Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who pleased you to all the ages. We may merit to be co to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us, source both of pardon and of salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oraso Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hopes, strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for the disease to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis, lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you on the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. We fly to your protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, St. Joseph, St. Raphael, the Archangel, St. Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsud. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bock and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.